so the thing is I want it to be a little bit more like unique glass. That's pretty. That's heavy. That lady in there was so sweet. She's like, you know, I just have to tell you, you have the most beautiful hair. We're ready for our haul. Hey everybody, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. It's Lauren and today we are going to be going thrifting a little bit. I have been sort of on the lookout for some colorful glass. So I found this photo right here um, on Pinterest and I was super inspired. I absolutely love a good rainbow and what better way to just like make that with like just really neat, unique glassware. Um, I'm kind of just starting the collection, so I'm gonna be on the hunt for that type of glass. And then of course, anything else great that we find that we could pick up to add to any collection or furniture or anything like that. So let's head into the Goodwill. So the thing is, I want it to be a little bit more like unique glass. So I don't just want like, you know, the generic type of bases like this per se. That's really, that's not too generic, but I want it to be see-through glass like this. See, I just don't want all of them to be shaped the same way. thinking like pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I think that's really all that I want to do. And then like different shades of all of those. I don't just want like six or seven of them. Four dollars. That's pretty heavy. Definitely think that that is a buy. Wouldn't mind having a couple of like glasses like that. I already did find one blue one already. Dark blue like that. too much of the same color. I need different heights. Maybe we need a bulk. Maybe I'll do that one. There's no, oh, four nine three ninety nine four bucks. Not bad. Of course we gotta browse the furniture section. Always right. E piece. It is 60 bucks. It's not bad. It's in really good shape, too. Yeah. Hardware. I think I've done hardware like this before. I think I've done a hutch. I don't like this because it had this detail here, but it was a little bit then like slimmer, hmm, 60 bucks. I'll have to remember that. I don't know that I'm gonna get that today, but potential. So you could tell that one over there is mid-century. This one is like really poorly and cheaply made. I've got it at 30, so it's good. That's neat. But it's missing a wheel down there, darn. We've got a blue recliner. I don't typically do recliners very often. I've done a couple, they've sold. Not a bad thing to do, but not for me. And then that's it on the furniture. The frames, the artwork, see if there's anything that can be DIY'd or anything that's like just cool as is. This mirror. This mirror, hello. I think we're gonna go check out. We got these two things. 
All right, we got our goods. Somehow it was only $6.41 instead of like eight something. Maybe one of them was the 50% off color. Oh yeah, the orange one is the green tag, which is 50% off. I had to show you guys this other blue one I got. It was $10, but it was at an estate sale. And I just thought that that was so pretty, like just the unique shape of it. So, I mean, I think that the blue cup is like different enough. Next up is New Life Thrift. I've never really looked at glassware and stuff here. Not for the glass wall, but super cool. I'm gonna get that. I'm not gonna get it because of that, darn. That lady in there was so sweet. She's like, you know, I just have to tell you, you have the most beautiful hair. So that really made my day. I love it when people like just compliment, you know, we all just love it when people compliment us. Um, so it just made my day and I'm on to the next thrift store. These are not marked, but Definitely going to pick those up. I'm gonna think about those, the maybe. So neat. Hey, we're all doing them. Nobody wants that. Blue, blue, blue. All right, after this, I can't get any more blues. All right, you might be wondering what in the world. I got those black square canvases. They're super well built and they were only two bucks each. There were 18 of them. I got those to do some sort of art project. I have no idea, some sort of like DIY art or like some, something to hang on the wall. Um, I don't know if I'll keep them all together or do like different designs on each one. I don't know, could be a cool gift, could be just a cool fun project and there's no better place to get quality uh, canvases like those at Goodwill at thrift stores because they're so much cheaper than you would find those at even like a craft store or something like that and they're like thick too. Um, so 
that also is a plus. Um, I'm going to be done for today, but I'm going to pick this vlog thrifting back up the next time I go thrifting, which hopefully always is just like in the next day or two. Um, but we got some really good things today and starting the collection. I think I've got like three blue things now, so I better calm down on the blue. I think I got two orange now, one red and one green. So I'm going to have to start doing like a little inventory. Um, but I'm so excited. And of course, at the end of the video, I'll do a haul for you guys so that you know exactly what I picked up and what I left behind. All right. Well, I didn't have to wait too long. I am here at another thrift store. It's just the next day. Um, we're at another Goodwill. So let's go and see if we can find anything. Night stamp here. $40. Trust $70. Web furniture. Do something cool with this. And then underneath, you could do like a some type of just. I don't know, make it round and then make a cooler base like in from more designer furniture company. They're doing that right now. You could recreate those types of tables to look like that. Why would you have a hole in a box? Ooh. Purple, guys. What the things that this is cool. Seems like a lot of their glass is like above a lot of their clothes. So I'm gonna go around the outside here. Look at that. Some red. Oh. That. Only $2 though. That's unique. I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't think I'm gonna settle on this because I can find him cooler stuff. All right, we are now headed into another thrift store. This one's Thrift World. There's a couple locations around the area. I like going to it too. They're not the best on furniture, but sometimes. It's funny, because for Goodwill at $1.99, this place is charging $4. I'm gonna decide on that. It's not the best made glass, but it's cool. Oh, 
All right, that is it for our thrifting haul today. I'm gonna head home and I'll show you everything that I got between yesterday and today. We made a pretty good dent in the collection. I'm just gonna continue keeping my eye out at different thrift stores and see how long it takes to just curate this specific collection that I'm really excited about. I think it's like the teacher in me and the creative in me. Like I just love a good rainbow and this like thrifting is kind of is like right up my alley. So just having a rainbow thrifted glass wall thing will be really cool. So we're going to head home and I'll show you everything we got. We're ready for our haul. This is two days of goodwilling and thrifting, but it's actually three days of stuff because one of the days I just didn't record. And so I'm gonna show you a haul of everything that we picked up. Maybe some plans for it, otherwise just what I picked up. So first things first, this is so cool and it's in impeccable condition. It is like a little wicker basket jar thing four dollars couldn't resist it's so cute and so cheap we also got i got two punch bowls with the cups i have an idea for them in the future and i'm just gonna kind of start collecting them if they're like ten dollars or less and these the purple was 50 percent off and it was 20 mark 20 so got that for ten dollars this one was already ten dollars not too sure how these thrift stores do their pricing because like why is that exact same thing ten dollars less you know it just sometimes doesn't make sense but got them both for ten dollars there and then we've got these green lamps. I got a pair of them and I did test them at the Goodwill and they worked. Um, only one of them has a shade and that is this one right here. I'm not sure if I'll keep that shade. It's not bad and these types of styles are kind of coming back, but I'm obviously gonna need to find two different matching ones. So maybe I can use this shade on another one that I picked up we will see but those eight dollar lamps at goodwill that is not bad at all so i got these two and then i got this one i know that this is vintage just because of the plug-in um, that it has it's like super old you can just tell and then i just love the style of this this is like an i don't know it's like just an old pot looking thing ceramic um vintage this like shape and style is kind of on trend right now so i thought that that would be a really fun little project i need to find a lamp shade for that then the other lamp that i got and i'm not sure if i broke it or not in transit i'll have to check um, i think i just need to screw it back on but I thought that this was like super cute and it had like a unique shape as well. I'm not sure how new or old this one is, um, but again, only $8 for that and I'll just need to find a shade. So not too bad. I picked up this cute pillow, just like a little accent pillow, maybe for a bedroom or a couch. And then I talked to you guys about these already. I picked up 18 of these canvas looking things. They are perfect blank slates for some DIY art. So I'm really excited about that project. I think that those are super neat and they were only $2 each, so why not? And then, let's see, we've got this pink vase. This I picked up on a different thrifting trip. Super, super heavy, um, $10, so really not too bad of a price, but it would look super cute, like styled with some type of, some type of florals coming out of it, stems. Let's see, what else, what else? Let's see, okay, so in here we've got, I just picked up this little vase, which would also be really cute with some stems coming out of it. Gearing up for all of my colored glass that I got, so I'm excited to see the collection um, because honestly, I don't remember what I picked up and what I left behind. And I'm gonna need to start keeping track. So we've got kind of a yellow amber colored one. Um, I was kind of debating yes or no on that guy just because it's kind of a thinner glass. 
um, but it's not the one that kind of scrapes off, so I just went for it. It's a unique shape and color that I don't think I even had yet. Then there was this blue guy. That was, I was in need of some light blue for sure. Let's see. I think this is the dark blue vase. Yeah, thought that one was super pretty. Again, I'm going for all different heights and all different shapes, sizes, and colors. This one was definitely one of my favorite finds because it's orange. And if you know me, orange is my favorite color. That is super unique. It's well made, doesn't scratch off. I loved it. This one I already showed you. It was at an estate sale, $10. So unique, so pretty, so blue. Um, I had to. It was just, even though these are the same color, I'm just, I want just multiples, you know? This was so pretty, I couldn't pass it up. This would look really cute with some stems. It's just such a unique pattern and it's raised. So it's super well made. I, there's no brand on it or anything, so I don't know if it's vintage or if it's new, but I loved it. This I picked up. It is a glass tray plate. What I'm gonna use it for is to actually put a plant on. I have a couple of plants that are potted, but they don't have that little catcher, um, the like water catcher, and so, that is what I, I saw someone else thrifting things like this and then it just catches the water so you don't have to worry about spilling and cleaning up and yada, yada, yada. So that's what I'm gonna use that for in my own house. I have the perfect plant for it. And you guys, it is like so hot. I don't have any airflow. So if I'm sweating so much, sorry. We're gonna keep going. Oh, this is pretty as well. We've got another blue one, but again, they're all three similar shades in blue, but they're all different sizes. They're all different shapes. So, I mean, this is exactly the look that we are going for. Our blue collection is definitely winning right now with the darks and the lights. But we've got another orange guy. I liked that one because of the unique shape. It's like a smaller scale. Ooh, and then this green one, also a smaller scale, but super nice for a green. And then another green guy. This one I love, this bottle is so pretty. So we did get every color. Oh, this red one is so pretty. It is a vase and it's like bumpy, super pretty there. All right, that was all in that box. I think that's all of the glass I got. No, I think I got, I thought I had, oh yeah, okay, I haven't gotten to the stuff that I got today. Ooh, and we got a purple one. Purple, another unique green one right there. And then last but not least, we got a pink guy. Super pretty. Look at all the height. Ah, loving it. Moving on, I think, from the glass, I also picked up this super pretty pitcher. I think it was like hand painted because it's like rough. Um, and it's just, it's so pretty. It's signed on the bottom, I think. And it has these, uh, I don't even know what type of flower that is, but it's super pretty. You could tell it's hand painted. I love it. There was one more glass. Look at that guy. That is a blue one. So clearly blue is winning so far. Gotta focus on some yellow, red, pink, and purple. The green and orange are kind of good, uh, going good, but um, definitely need to continue adding on. I don't know yet how many shelves, or how, not how many shelves, but how long the shelves are gonna be for like this display. I think I want it to be white. That way it's just like the most pop of a color on the white background. And then just kind of go from there. This was pretty, um, a vase for just some stems, 
staging, something like that. So I guess I'm not only looking for vases. Um, if I see something else that's like glass that kind of catches my eye, I'll also go for it. Um, but I thought that this would just add a little bit of some more unique height to the collection. So like this with the greens, it would just be a little bit of a shorter, wider look. And it's like a flower. And I got two of these and they were only $2, $1.99 each. So I thought those were super pretty and just, I mean, just decorative bowls, but those will go in the collection for sure. Now I got all this glass, I'm gonna have to be super careful. This isn't for the collection, but another little cute vase for like a stem, $1.99 for that. And then this, oh, so cute. Oh, there's a little chip on it. I might've done that myself though, cause I definitely dropped it. There's a tiny chip now, darn it. That was my bad. Well, we'll see. It was only $1.99, but I thought that this little Santa was so cute. It's like a vintage little Santa. So let's add that to the Christmas decor collection. This was one of the first things that I spotted while we were out. It is a super heavy elephant um, bookend. I thought that was so cute. Um, I think it might be modern, but we're gonna go with it. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to get away from like buying the modern stuff, but sometimes things are just too cute to pass up. So got that. And either way, even if it is modern, we're still getting it at a little bit of a cheaper price. It's like Christmas because I don't remember what I bought half the time. So we've got a pumpkin. It's like a ceramic pumpkin here. Um, that was just, the fall's coming up, you know? Thought it would be good to get some decor. And then Christmas is obviously right around the corner. So I picked up these cute gold Christmas trees. Not sure where they're from, but they're cute for displaying. So add that to the Christmas decor section. And then I got a little gold frame with a bow on it. Okay, so we got this little wine basket. This would be perfect for like a gift of some sort. If you wanna gift someone a bottle of wine, you could put it in here and then you'd have something to carry it in. Just like a unique way to thrift your gift wrap, you know? Like instead of going and buying a bag and putting wine in it, find basket out at the thrift store. Another basket here. These, this is a really neat basket. Um, it was $4, so pretty well made. I think it's more modern, but I like the texture. And these are great for like holding things on the table or even making into a basket wall. That one may be a little bit big for that. And I got a big bag of pine cones, which I know you can just go collect pine cones, but these ones, have a smell to them. And so I was like, that would be super neat to like even put in that basket and then have these kind of like be your incense or you're just like smell good in your house. And then I also got two of these wreaths. I think they also might have a smell to them, but just for fall, like cute, cute wreaths here. They were $4 each, not bad there. We got this, which I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it would be used for. Just a cute styling piece. It's like metal, old. You can tell that it's just got a lot of patina on it. Um, it was only $4, so not bad at all there. You could put some flowers in it, leave it as is. And then last but not least, I got this little brass candle blower outer stopper thing. I can't remember what it's actually called. So that's cute. And then I got these two lampshades. This is like a burlap one. And I don't know, I don't think it would really match. It's kind of not to scale of any of the lamps I got today. And then I just got this lampshade, which is more modern, but it might work on um, 
one of the single lamps that I got, but it's always a good idea to just grab, this was $2. If I went and got one on like Amazon or at Walmart or something, it would be at least 10. So I had to um, always look at their stores. As long as it's not dirty, then you're good. So yeah, that is the haul, I think. Not too much stuff, right? Um, I kind of did get a lot of stuff. I gotta kind of organize it now and wrap things back up but I'm just, look at this collection already. And that's just really two days of looking specifically for the glass because the colored glass, I didn't find the idea until the first day I started thrifting with you guys. So excited about that collection growing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed thrifting with me. It was fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed the GoPro version of this. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the video and just, yeah, get subscribed down below. We have a lot of really, really, really fun things that you're not gonna wanna miss. I know I say that a lot, but this is sincerely true. You're not gonna wanna miss what's coming up next. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.